Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap is an old mixture of central steam wagon parts and other little machining projects. I do a modification on my milling machine. I've been wanting to do for quite some time. I don't think everybody will agree with what I've done, but basically it's my milling machine and the modification is going to make a lot of jobs much simpler for me. I've had quite a few people sending me emails to enter the, uh, the monthly draw. That's not the way it works anymore. If you have a look at the uh, the monthly draw video that I did at the beginning of the month, all you want to do is post a comment on the video, a specific comment in my computer, and pick an email from there. So sending emails is no longer necessary. These are pumping elements of a Sentinel S4 steam wagon. What they do is they pump a special thick oil directly into the steam line of the engine to lubricate the engine. That oil mixes with the steam and that's what lubricates the pistons and the valves. These haven't been used for some time. I've just got to strip them and make sure they're going to be alright and they're going to work. This is the oil that it pumps and you can see it's real thick sticky stuff. Special oil for the particular job. I don't want it at the time. It's a straightforward plunger pumping element the oil is actually drawn in there these are submerged in oil the oil goes in there and comes out through there I suppose that's just a filter I would expect that to screw out and there'll be a, a one way valve There's some description in there so the first thing to do is have a look inside here and see how it works made of bronze old really nice Johnny man. That thread's quite tight, it feels like it's got sealer on it. Right, so inside of here we've got dirt, we've got a spring and a valve and a little fibre washer on there, a little washer of some description and in there we've got nothing else, just dirt Really simple and really effective. I don't know if that strainer will come out, we'll give it a try and see. We need nice to get that part in there cleaned out as well. Huh. It does come out not tight. A little spring in there as well. what looks like another little valve little light spring in a valve once again it's got a slot and head on and it's got a point on there so that'll be the grind that valve into that seat this is really nicely made stuff and make sure nothing else is in there wash it off, clean it up and put it back together brake cleaners as good as anything Little Sonic cleaner bath would be good for these. I've always been tempted to buy a small one. 
Uh, jobs like this. Okay, so that's quite a lot of shade come out of there. Nothing nasty, just normal little bits and pieces. We've got a nice blow off next. These are all nice and clean and dry now. There's a taper seat in the bottom of there that that valve seats into. It's got a slot in there for the screwdriver, so I'm going to get some really fine valve grain and pierce, lap that into there, and then wash it out, reassemble it, and see if we can make it pump oil. Just a little touch of this stuff, doesn't take much, just on the I'm going to tape a seat like that. The bronze seat should be nice and soft. We're looking for a, a nice solid ring on there, which we've got. And I've removed all the traces of grain and paste. A bit of steam oil in there. So that went in like that. Nice and free to move. Little check valve. There's a little light spring. And this part here, which is a basically a little filter, that was screwed into there. This is where the oil will come out. There's a little bit of rust on there. I'm just going to use a scotch brake to clean that off. There's a little sealing washer on there. Looks like a little bronze washer, and that goes onto a flat seat down inside of there. A little bit of scotch brake should be enough to take that. A bit of rust off there. These have now ran for at least 30 years that we know of. Better. Let's see it's clean. Once again, a little bit of oil. Valve's nice and free. 
then we'll have the spring and the cap there's a little cut out in there I'm not sure if that's so you can bleed it there's no washer or nothing on the end of here I do think this part's a high pressure side it's the other one this one here has got the high pressure on it so we'll put it in there put that back together an awkward thing to hold bollocks man this little set of Three of drive hooker sockets I bought have been really handy, it's surprising how much I actually use them. Well when you're working on old stuff like this, I suppose it it's not surprising really, but these threads are tight but it was tight to come out. Right. So like I say, that's the inlet, there where the oil goes in. Put a little squirt up there. Plunger is nice and clean. Nice return spring. So that goes into there. And it's going to suck oil through that hole there. Right, so that hole there is where the oil gets pulled in. Now I should have oil. I'm just trying, trying to put oil out of there. I really need to get a, a decent amount of oil in there. So it pulls the oil in on the back straight like that. Right, and squirting oil out of there. I can feel oil pressure there now. Definitely oil pressure. You see it squirting, I hope you can see it squirting. I pump it up. There you go. Right, so we'll deem that one is now fully functioning. Put it away in a nice sealed plastic bag, and I'll do exactly the same. With the other one. This is the second pump going back together and I have found a, a little defect the end snapped off that spring so that part there it wouldn't cause any damage because it was stuck around it around the, the pump shaft but I'm starting to find a better spring than that a new spring. The spring I've found slightly different it's the same length course our coils and it feels Equally, the spring is that one, so I'm going to replace it with that.
right. I'm going to put the pumping iron into this one so we can get this one to, to work like the other one. Right, the pump seems to be full of oil now, so if we put that in there, we'll pump that. And there's definitely oil pressure there. So they're kind of ready to go now. Just wanted a good clean it, see it working there. Definitely going to work. I hope Deb doesn't watch this video, she'll see us using that kitchen rod and our little food bags. But they're ideal for keeping things clean that have just been reassembled. Spend this ready to go. This unit is off an S4. Central steam wagon, those are the two little plunger oil pumps that we've just cleaned and put back together. The unit is driven off the main engine via that drive shaft there. There's two big gears inside here and a worm gear. A lot of this work has been done by my friend Scott at Troops and Engineering. Um, he was given basically bare castings and there's been gears cut and a lot of work done to get it to this stage. I'm going to show you how it works and what it actually does. There's various power takeoff points. There's a one there that runs a compressor, and there's a one there that will run a dynamo. Inside here, I bring the camera around, and you can see the two plunger pumps in the bottom of there that are driven from this big brass gear, and that's a worm gear that's driven from inside of here. There's a primer handle you can turn, which turns that cam there, and I hope you can see that that's hitting the plunger, which makes the two oil pumps work. That's to prime it and get oil up the line. Now if I turn the main input gear, or the main input shaft, which is this one, you'll see that working. That woman wheel, this has also been remanufactured, that was missing. Driving the cam, and that drives the, the two oil pumps. That's the compressor bolted back in place. This is basically already now to go back onto the wagon. That's one of the gears I had made. This is the gear that drives the compressor. 